Hey guys and welcome back. So this is gonna be an unscripted video. It's not gonna be like my other ones. So excuse me if I stumble over my words a little bit more than usual. Uh, so yeah, Nintendo just dropped this new trailer for Paper Mario, the Origami King. Now if there's anything you need to know about me is that Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is one of my favorite games of all time, even rivaling some of the Zelda games. Not all of them, but it's definitely up there. Uh, really also like the first one, Super Paper Mario, also a great game in my opinion, even though it's a little bit different. It's not until Sticker Star that they started to lose me. And of course Color Splash being very derivative of that game also didn't really do it for me. I know there's plenty of people who like it, but it's not for me. I just want to go over some of the stuff that we saw in the trailer, see what we can see. In the first split second I saw this door, I was like, ooh, thousand year door too? But no, it's just a door inside of the castle. As the title suggests, the main theme in this game revolves around this origami paper folding concept. Now this little guy right here seems to be the origami king which the game is named after, which is great because that means that Bowser is not going to be the main bad guy. Thank God, that stuff was getting old. Aesthetically, the characters have the same art style as in Color Splash with this white outline around it. From what I can tell, this whole game is about characters getting cursed into origami shapes, I guess? Because in this silhouette right here, we can clearly see like what seems to be a Koopa Troopa being carried away against his will, probably to be transformed, which means that Princess Peach has already been taken over. As soon as you've been taken over, you will fight on the side of the bad guy. I found this image on Twitter which solidifies that the game is centered around this regular characters versus the origami characters. We can also see that the castle is slowly being taken over by these swirls of paper. So whoever this little dude is, he basically just barges in and takes over the seat of power of the Mushroom Kingdom. That is pretty badass. There also seems to be some secondary theme going on with this paper mache stuff, but I have no idea what that's about. Now this right here is obviously going to be the new companion character. Whether or not this is going to be the only one, just like in Color Splash and Sticker Star, or if we're going to see more characters join the party, that remains to be seen. And you know, right off the bat, I can already see that this game at least has a more diverse set of characters, which is a good sign. At least it's not 95% Toads like in Color Splash. I don't know if any of the other characters that we see are going to be potential companions, or if this is just a story segment or something like that. But it would be cool to see Mario with a whole party of colorful characters again. We also get a glimpse of one of Mario's new abilities, these large stretching arms, which seems to be used to peel off pieces of your surroundings. I don't know if there's anything else that this can be utilized for, but it looks cool. We see Bowser Jr, which, well, maybe he will be a companion character. That would be an interesting twist, similar to how Bowser joins your party in Super Paper Mario. I always like it when a former bad guy joins you to fight a common enemy. In the beginning I had no idea what this whole deal is with Bowser, like as a pizza box or something like that, but now that I think about it, perhaps Mario saved him before he could be transformed completely. And now he's in this weirdly half-folded state, which could explain why Bowser Jr. is friendly all of a sudden. Now this section right here just looks amazing. Having a vehicle and being able to drive around a large open space in Paper Mario? Count me in! By the way, I don't know if you knew this, but apparently toads were already around in the time of the ancient Egyptians. We see like an aerial bombardment or dogfight or something like that. This is all out war, man. There also seems to be some sort of like world select menu or something like with all these pipes. I really hope this isn't what I think it is. I know the world of Paper Mario has always been sectioned off before, but at least you got to all these places using different methods like by boat, by train, by blimp through the sewers, which made it feel more like an actual world. But who knows, maybe it's just a mini game or something. I don't want to draw conclusions prematurely. Now when it comes to battles, what's this? They brought the audience back? No. For those of you who didn't play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, the audience was one of the most interesting aspects of the battle system. Now I don't know if in this game it's gonna work the same way, but in The Thousand Year Door it brought something extra to the battles, something to keep your eye on. The audience could either help you out, turn against you, fill your special meter, stuff like that. Now for all we know this could be pure aesthetics, but hey who knows, maybe they will bring the mechanic back in some way. We see Mario's HP up here, but I don't see any FP which was used for special attacks in the older games. But I'm guessing that special moves might work different in this game. We already see an indication of a new mechanic 
mechanic called ring moves, with a multiplier attached to it. Apparently it has something to do with lining up your enemies to gain stat boosts, which could be interesting. But wait, what's this? Oh no. I really, really hope that this is just the name of the attack or something like that. I mean, Nintendo cannot be this stubborn, right? The sticker and card mechanic is probably the most complained about aspect in Sticker Star and Color Splash. I mean, what's the point of fighting if you're just gonna waste your resources and not getting any experience for it? Now, again, I don't want to complain or draw conclusions prematurely, but as long as I don't see a leveling system, I'm gonna remain a bit worried. Anyway, I think that wraps it up for now. I just wanted to give my two cents. Sorry if some parts sounded a bit presumptuous or negative, but ever since Color Splash, I've been careful not to get my hopes up too much. I do have to say that this trailer made a much better impression on me than Color Splash ever did. We already see a much bigger variety in characters. Bowser is not the main bad guy. There's some really cool cinematics going on here. There seem to be vehicles like cars and boats that we can use to drive and sail around. So yeah, it doesn't look bad. Now let's hope they flesh out the world with cool characters and cities and stuff like that. And have a battle system that makes fighting enemies fun and worth it. Anyway, I've gone on long enough. This is Dawn signing off and I'll see you in the next video.